For a guy like me, I know a lot about WordPress. Editing code is no problem. But for most other people, editing WordPress code is like trying to defuse a bomb without instructions while tap dancing on a barely frozen lake. I need to make it easier. How can I make it easier? I think I've got it. I'll make a list. It will have more than five things to keep people engaged, but less than seven so they don't get bored. It's a fine line, but can it be done? Can I showcase all the places in WordPress to edit code without putting people to sleep? I think I can do it. Let's give it a try. I'm going to show you how to edit WordPress code safely, whether it's HTML, CSS, PHP, or JavaScript. WordPress makes it easy for non-coders to manage a website, but at some point, you might want more control over how your site looks and how it functions. That's where a little bit of code editing can go a long way. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover editing WordPress HTML for posts and pages, editing CSS in the customizer, modifying your themes PHP and HTML via the theme editor, doing the same thing via FTP, and doing that same thing again via file manager, and I'll show you how to safely add custom scripts and code using a plugin. And of course, I respect your time, so you'll find timestamps to all the important sections down below in the description or at the bottom on the play bar on this video. Now let's dive in. First, editing HTML in WordPress posts and pages. The easiest way to edit HTML inside a post or page is using the block editor. To add a simple HTML code, like for buttons, embeds, or tables to a page or a post, use a custom HTML block. If you want to tweak the HTML inside a block, click on the block's options, then select Edit with HTML. To edit the HTML for an entire page or post at once, click on the three dots in the top right corner of the page editor, then click on Code Editor. You can also use the shortcut Control shift alt m or Command shift alt m to switch between visual editing and code editing really quickly. When editing the HTML here, just make sure to work around the short codes for the blocks. Are you still using the classic editor? That's no problem. You can click on the text tab to see and edit the raw HTML. Next, editing CSS in the customizer. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. This is where the appearance or style of everything on your website is defined. Large and complex themes may have multiple CSS style sheets, but most have only one and it's called style.css. If you want to add CSS code without editing the style sheet directly, you can do so in the customizer. Just go to Appearance and then click Customize. Most themes will have this option, but not all. Once in the customizer, scroll to the very bottom and click on Additional CSS. You can add your CSS into the empty field on the bottom of that page. If you found this video helpful so far, drop a like and hit subscribe to let me know. Next, editing WordPress theme code from inside WordPress. This is a very important warning, so listen up. Messing with your themes, PHP files can break your website if you do it incorrectly. Always back up your site before making changes. I have a link to a backup and restore tutorial in the description in case you need help with that. To edit theme files in WordPress, go to Appearance and then Theme File Editor. If WordPress shows a warning, click I understand. The warning basically says that this is a dangerous place. There is no preview for the changes you make here. Once you save, the changes are live, even if they break your site. And worst case scenario, your theme tweaks break the admin area of the website and you can't use the theme editor anymore to undo your changes. I've been there and it caused a lot of hair loss. <laughs> Anyway, if you like to live on the edge, use the drop down on the right in the theme editor to select which theme you want to edit. The active theme is selected by default. Below the drop down, you can navigate to the theme's files. The ones that are edited most often are header.php for site wide header changes, footer.php for site wide footer changes, functions.php for adding features, single.php for blog post templates and style.css to change the appearance of elements on your site. 
In the theme editor area of WordPress, you can only edit files. You cannot add, delete, restore, or duplicate files, which you can do in the next few options. Also very important is that if you edit a parent theme directly, your edits will be lost when the theme updates. The solution to that is creating a child theme. If you want to learn more about child themes and how to create them, I've linked to a tutorial down below in the description. Next, editing WordPress code via the file manager. The file manager is found inside your hosting account. Depending on your host, there will be different ways to get to the file manager. And once you're there, you need to know a little bit about WordPress file structure to find what you want. For example, if you want to make changes to the main style sheet, you'll have to navigate to the public underscore HTML folder, then the WP content folder, then the themes folder, then open the correct theme folder within the themes folder, and then find and open the style.css file. The big advantage to using the file manager is the ability to backup files, duplicate files, delete or restore files, create new files, and most importantly, undo your changes using Command or Control Z. Having the ability to undo is a game changer. If you want to work a little more securely, you can use FTP or SFTP to make your edits. So next, let's talk about editing WordPress code via FTP. FTP and SFTP are quite similar to using file manager, but just a little bit more secure. Once you're connected to your site, you can download the theme files to your hard drive, make changes, and then save and re-upload the files to make the changes live. You can work inside of your favorite coding software or just use something basic like Sublime to edit the files you download. I use FileZilla as my FTP client and it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. To connect to your site via FTP, download FileZilla or any other FTP client you want to use, Get your FTP credentials from your hosting provider. I have a separate tutorial that shows you this in detail. I've linked to that in the description down below. Then connect to your server, i.e. your hosting account, and navigate to the file you want to edit. Let's edit the header.php file for this example. Navigate to public underscore HTML, then WP content, then themes, then open the correct theme folder and find the header.php file. Before you start making any changes to the file, you can download a backup to your hard drive so you can quickly undo any errors. Most people will download the file, make edits, save it, and re-upload it to make their changes live. But this can be a bit of a drag if you're making lots of small changes or troubleshooting a problem. For an easier updating experience, you can open the file directly from the server. Then when you save it, the changes will be synced to the files on your server immediately. The last way to edit WordPress code we're going to talk about today is using a plugin. You can install a plugin like Code Snippets to add HTML, JavaScript, or CSS to any page on your website. All you do once the plugin is installed is click on Add New under the Snippets menu, give your snippet a title, choose the type of code you want the snippet to inject. The free version will allow PHP and HTML. You need the pro version for CSS and JavaScript. Choose where the snippet should run and save you're done. If the options for the code snippets plugin aren't what you need, there are at least five other code injection plugins that might do what you need with their free versions. And they all work in similar ways. Here's some best practices for editing WordPress code. First, always back up your site before making changes. Second, use a child theme for theme modifications. Third, test changes in a staging environment first. Fourth, use FTP for direct file edits instead of the theme editor. And finally, consider using plugins instead of direct code edits. If you follow these steps, you'll be able to customize your site safely without breaking anything. Hopefully. That's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for tuning in. Now you know how to edit WordPress, HTML, CSS, PHP, and JavaScript safely and effectively. Which method do you prefer for editing WordPress code? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, let me know by dropping a like and hitting the subscribe button for more WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and next up, watch this video on your screen right now, which is all about fixing one of the most common WordPress errors. Make sure you check that out.